Over the next few months, I'll be visiting sites all over the country, meeting people who are upgrading, extending, or building their own home. Today, I'm going to meet Alan Galvin, who lives in an idyllic thatched cottage hidden away in the wilds of County Clare. Alan is an Irish software designer who's lived all over the world, but Ina is where he now calls home. Hi, Alan. Hello, Duncan. Good to How see you? you. Welcome to Ina. Thank you, and it's a wonderful down here. It is lovely today. Sure. Well. I've just been out walking the dog and getting a bit of fresh air. And is this all your bog here? Yeah, this is my bog here. You've got this section of it here, and there's a there's a further section over there, about the same size again. Right, and are you going to preserve this, or what's this, your plan? This, this area will be totally preserved. There's no machines coming on here. I've cut turf by hand. We use a slawn. Every other year we'll cut some, but only enough to, um, to keep my own little fire going up in the house. I'm dying to see the house. Well, come on up and I'll show right. you. Okay. OK. Thank you. Alan arrived here in 1993, where he painstakingly restored this traditional thatch cottage. Bringing it up to modern living standards wasn't easy. As with many vernacular structures, the house had been vacant for quite a time and had fallen into a poor state of repair. So you really had a big job to do here. It was, it was a challenge. Yeah, and yeah. did you have a good team working on it? I was very lucky because um, when I came here, um, I met up with some very, very good neighbours who advised me well. I think they had an affinity with the house because this house has been part of the Aina history. I think people who worked here knew what I was trying to achieve and uh, were able to interpret and, and deliver. This is the main living space. Fantastic space too. And the old fireplace. This is my pride and joy, this fire. Wow. Um, this big beam here. It's bog oak. Right. Bog oak. And, and this, was, um, this was here when you came? It was here but it was all plastered up and covered. In fact, it was only a very small fireplace. Right. So I was delighted today that I exposed this beam and then we cleared everything back and had it brought back to its natural state. So the extension is going to continue straight through here and then this will bring everything into synergy. Alan has opted to add a two-storey extension to the existing cottage in an authentic traditional style. The extension will have a farmhouse-style kitchen, utility and dining area on the ground floor, with a new ensuite and master bedroom on the first floor. He's also treating himself to a sauna. So how are we going to manage this regarding time? It's magic space up there, aren't it's, you? It's going to be very nice. This time, I'm heading back to Ina, County Clare, to see how Alan Galvin's extension to his thatch cottage is getting on. So, Alan, I'm very impressed with the progress. You're really fantastic. Alan intends to continue the thatching onto the new structure in order to mimic the vernacular feel of the old house in the new extension. But as well as using some very traditional crafts in this new build, Alan is availing of some new construction methods. There's something very interesting about the walls of this house. This extension here, which is two storeys, carrying heavy precast concrete floors at first floor level. The external walls of it are made of polystyrene. It's called insulated concrete formwork. And what it consists of is polystyrene. This one is 62 millimetres on the outside, the same on the inside, forming a permanent shutter so that concrete can be poured into the centre of this and that provides the structural strength for the building. But the permanent shuttering of the polystyrene also acts as the insulation. And this is going to be better insulated now than building regulation standards. Because Alan wants to build sustainably, he's opted to use eco-cement where possible. Alan has begun to think about heating solutions. And with 30 acres of Sitka spruce at his disposal, it makes sense to consider using wood chip. Hi, Dave. It's OK. How are you? How are you? I must say, I'm very impressed with the patching on the other Thanks, side. Thanks, yes. Turned out well. Went up no problem, so it's looking good. And it looks very much in character with the old house, the way you've done yeah, it. Yeah, it's all going to tie nicely with, you know, the stonework here and the thatch, so it's going to look like it was always here, really. The plumbing is also well underway. Alan is using a wood chip boiler, fuelled by his own wood chips, to heat his new home. As the pressure mounts to get things done, Alan's daughter has moved back home to lend a helping hand around the house. This time, I'm back in County Clare for my final visit to Alan Galvin's extension. Hello. 
Helen, the thickness of this wall now, where you break into the new part of the house, is incredible. It's got a great feeling, hasn't it? It is a lovely, lovely feeling. You've got about um, three feet of the old stone wall, and then the eco-form um, aeroboard wall, and there was a small gap between them. So together, it's about four feet. And it complements, of course, the natural feel of everything here, Alan. The stonework here on the floor, the Lascanner. You really feel that you're in a very natural house. It's well, not just the thatch. Um, the old furniture. Uh, even the worktops are the scanner flag which I've had polished. Oh, and the brickwork, where did you get that? It's again, it's Belfast brick, which is old brick which I've had restored. And there's a theme of it running right through from the front door right through and up in, into the other dining room. So you're going to have a party here tonight? Yeah, most of the people who worked on the house at one stage or another will be here. This house can whisper this house can tell The wind whistles up a tune From that old well This house floats your bread It hoards a treasure from me 